Hello, it's Sarah Jennings of Dare to Be. Um, I'm in a beautiful spot this morning. I'll just show you where I am. I'm surrounded by amazing trees and this funny little pond. And it smells of wild garlic and there's bluebells and um, I can hear sheep and there's all these little random bits of art. So it's um, a really cool little forest to be sitting in. And I'm just having a moment before my uh, kinesiology assessment this morning. And I'm looking forward to that. Like I said yesterday, it was, it's, um, yeah, we're, we're all well prepared and been taught really well. And I think what I wanted to talk about today is let's just start really simple. So are you drinking enough water? You know, that, that's, let's just start with that. <laughs> um, it makes a big difference on how your brain functions and, and you know, just feeling better, feeling better in yourself. And, you know, just start small. You can have like a glass of water by your bed, drink a little bit before going to bed, but then finish it in the morning. Um, just have a bottle with you. You know, buy buy a nice fancy bottle if that helps you drink more water. And if you're anything like me, you will drink loads of water for a while and then forget. And then, then go for a cycle of not drinking enough water and then feeling really dehydrated. So it's as much a reminder for me as it is for everyone else. But make sure you're drinking plenty of water. Stay hydrated. And, um, you know, the same goes for eating food eating good quality healthy food and you know this is the time of year where we can get amazing salads you know maybe try and go organic if you haven't before and just just try and think about what you're putting in inside your body um so i'm not a nutritionist or anything like that i, I have some knowledge and it's been a passion of mine but i think just keeping it simple for now like just spend a week challenging yourself to drink more water and see how that makes you feel on the other hand um drinking more water and, and eating organic food and being super healthy and taking loads of vitamins but staying in a low emotional state kind of negates all the health benefits that you'll get so what i mean is if you're sitting and eating an amazing plate of food but you're angry or feeling terribly upset or you're blaming people for something you know that it, whatever mood you're in and whatever state your mind is in you know just imagine how that's affecting your body and how that's affecting how you digest food and you know these are very simple things but if you don't know how to do them it's, it's tough you know and uh, that's kind of why whoop, that's why I've brought this group together is to be able to start sharing little tips like this and you know if you want to go much deeper the program I'm putting together is going to be coming out like very soon and it's going to help people go through this stuff step by step and in a deep and impactful way. Um, so, you know, if you're interested in being in the first wave, uh, do get in touch and we can and talk properly about it over the phone. But really the message today is drink more water, you know, try and put more healthy food on the table for yourself because I know how it feels when you're stressed and running around you want to just eat something quick and at the end of the day that's not really helping you with the stress and the other thing is is check check yourself <laughs> if you're whatever mood or emotion or feeling you're in is going to have an impact on how you digest water how you digest food how you digest life so take a moment to to see how that's going and um reach out if you need help with it all so just one more little zoom of the trees they're amazing such big lovely trees and you know just look after yourselves lots of love bye